The Arkansas CW presents Do the Ozarks, featuring the Arkansas CW crew, powered by McClarty Daniel. Hey guys, it's Morgan with the Arkansas CW, and I'm out here with Sam, and we're actually talking about blown glass today. So Sam, can you tell me a little bit about blown glass and the process that goes into it and everything? Yeah, so what we do here at Silver Dollar City is in a very public format, we try to show a very old process, um, a blown glass process where we have molten glass. We take the various tools that we work with, try to shape it into various shapes that show a really engaging demonstration, um, show a dynamic change of how we can take glass, which starts out as a fluid, do a little bit of work to it, have it finish out as this really nice solid object. We could do artistic glass, a lot of times we do sculptural glass, um, or we do a lot of functional glass too, because whenever we work the glass, we wanna work something and show that with our, with our craft and with our skill set, we can put into something that will last a lifetime. So that's what we try to do. That's great. I was actually watching a little bit of a demonstration mm -hmm. out there, and it was so cool. The way you were like cutting the mm -hmm. glass, that just blows my mind. Is yeah. it? How hot does it have to be to be able to mold it like this? Okay, so whenever we start the process, glass will come out of the furnace at mm -hmm. 2,100 degrees. And at that temperature, it moves just like warm honey. So it's very fluid. You've got to really stay under it. It takes a lot of practice to really be able to hold that glass. But the thing is, is as you start working it, it cools down, it cools down very fast. Um, so if it drops below, let's say a thousand degrees, that's when it's gonna get rock solid. So most of the time, whenever we work glass, it's somewhere between say 1300 and 1800 degrees. There's a really big temperature range, but as long as we can get it hot, we're gonna do what we want. Wow. And is there a specific um, item that you like to make more than others? Just something that's fun to do? Um, for myself, I, I personally like to engage myself in glass that does a lot of pattern work. Anything that can really show an articulate process, being able to take something that is a fluid and push a little bit more control, that's something that I enjoy. But ultimately, if I can do something that engages the audience, that is a way for me to communicate with my hands in a way I might not be able to you know, have a conversation with someone, then for me, that's really enjoyable. Yeah. And how long have you been doing um, blown glass? So uh, I've been working total for about seven years, uh, seven, seven and a half years in glass. Um, I've worked at Silver Dollar City. I believe this is me working on my fifth year now. Um, I started as a part-time apprentice in Springfield, Missouri. Um, and I worked in uh, that process for a couple years, just built up a skill set, and I was able to come down here at the city, and I've been working here full time on that stage, like I said, for about five years. And let me tell you guys, everything that I've seen made here is absolutely beautiful. So if you get a chance to come by and see Sam blow some glass, you definitely should. It's super awesome. So thank you so much for talking absolutely. to me today, Sam. Yeah, thank it's you very much. You. Thank you for coming down. The Arkansas CW presents Do the Ozarks. Featuring the Arkansas CW crew, powered by McClarty Daniel.